So if you've watched my prior videos, you know I've been interested in exploring LoRa or Low Bandwidth Long Range Radio. As someone who's interested in telemetry for remote environmental monitoring, LoRa poses some intriguing cost-effective alternatives to cellular and satellite telemetry. In response, I've been investigating LoRa and prepared this playlist which covers all my research and development in setting up a LoRaWAN gateway for my local hackerspace here in Tucson, Arizona. In support of my research, I installed a TTN node on the set of my house with an antenna on my roof and tested telemetry throughout my neighborhood by walking around with a second radio installed in a cigar box. Overall, this was a fascinating project and you can check out the results in this video as it relates to very local telemetry capabilities of LoRa. The project was a success. Uh, it concluded with the installation of a LoRaWAN gateway at my local hackerspace known as ZeroCraft. In response, many of you have commented on Helium with questions and suggestions for future content. For those of you who aren't familiar with Helium, it's essentially a community-based network of LoRa hotspots that incentivizes adoption and installation through cryptocurrency rewards. Since my own TTN LoRaWAN gateway has been donated to ZeroCraft, your comments prompted me to purchase a Synchrobit Helium hotspot to take advantage of my rooftop antenna installation and so that I might generate some new content specific to Helium on this channel. In regards to this new playlist, I'll go over my experience of purchasing a Helium node from a third party, setting it up to work with the Helium network, and tracking telemetry range and helium rewards off a homebrew antenna installed on my roof. Finally, anything associated with cryptocurrency immediately raises some red flags for me personally, given the well-known environmental impacts of mining. So I'll conclude with a brief discussion of why I believe helium is a viable alternative for those of you interested in cryptocurrency, but concerned about the impact that it might have on future generations. Now, if you're totally new to LoRa and you just want some general background, these two videos contain helpful information that applies to any LoRa node you build, whether it be for Helium or the Things Network. I'll include links in the description of this video. These chapters are in development, but if you're interested in how the node I installed is doing, you can cut to the chase by visiting the link in the description of this video or by Googling the node name striped boysenberry wallaby for further details. For context, the setup for this helium hotspot is identical to the one developed for the LoRa playlist included in the description of this video. Again, as I do with all my videos, everything is approached from the point of view of someone who is completely new to the technology. So I'll go over both the positive and negative so that those of you that might be considering this project will have a better feel before making what could be a significant investment. Development of these chapters is in progress, so if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thank you.